This is a call for fundamental reform in contemporary physics. Einstein's so-called theory of relativity must be removed from science. Modern science has always had as one of its fundamentals a perfectly legitimate and physically consistent theory of relativity, mostly due to Galileo Galilei. Unfortunately, something that has been foisted for over a century, called Einstein's theory of relativity purported to be challenging the legitimate Galilean relativity, has been doing and does massive damage to science and should have been abandoned long ago, because of its internally contradictory nature. Einstein has been quoted to have said that if he is wrong, then one argument, not 100, will be enough. The following argument then, is sufficient to overthrow his candidate theory. These are pages 917 and 918 of Einstein's original paper. Here, Einstein himself applies the first postulate of his quote-unquote theory to Newton's second law. As seen, application of the first postulate represents the mass mu in the stationary system as exactly the same mass mu in the moving system. X-axis component of Newton's second law in the stationary system is in the blue ellipse, while the X-axis component of Newton's second law in the moving system is in the red ellipse. On the other hand, on page 918, Einstein shows how Newton's second law in the moving system, shown in the red ellipse, is represented in the stationary system, shown in the blue ellipse. If Lorentz transformations are used for such representation, now, we are ready to place back to back in the stationary system, the results from the two representations of the Newton's second law written in the moving system. Second derivative of distance. X. Traveled by a body in a system. Over time. Is acceleration. While epsilon times capital X. Is the x-axis component of the force. Mass mu. Is usually denoted by. M. Therefore. We can rewrite Newton's second law in its more commonly known form. The problem is seen at once. Einstein's so-called theory of relativity requires that one and the same body in one and the same system has at the same time both mass m and mass beta cubed m. This is physically impossible. It is not possible that the motion of one and the same body in one and the same system be described by two different laws of motion, as the so-called theory predicts. Also, it is not possible that one and the same body in one and the same system has multiple values of its mass, as Lorentz transformations predict let alone has mass that would depend on the motion around it of other bodies. So, according to the Lorentz transformations, if there are no bodies moving with respect to the body in K, its mass will be of unique value, m. But if there are bodies moving with respect to that body in K, then, according to Lorentz transformations, its mass will at the same time acquire multiple values, depending on how many of these bodies are and what their velocity with respect to the body in K is. This conclusion, following from the Lorentz transformations, is so obviously physically wrong that no arguments concerning the mathematical viability of these transformations can justify their retainment in physics. The above leads to one general conclusion. Einstein's so-called theory of relativity is based on a fatal contradiction between its first postulate and the Lorentz transformations. As seen, 
Einstein's so-called theory of relativity is internally contradictory. Therefore, it is not a scientific theory at all. And is not even wrong. Because of the above, it must be rejected in its entirety prior to any attempts for experimental confirmation. A candidate theory based on internal contradictions is nothing other than nonsense. And nonsense cannot be the subject of experimental verification. Therefore, experimental confirmation cannot even be pondered. To begin with, when a candidate theory is based on internal contradictions, and all claims for experimental confirmations of an internally contradictory candidate theory such as Einstein's so-called theory of relativity must mandatorily be considered invalid and dismissed as soon as such claims are even mentioned. Said theory is often divided into special and general. However, it is enough to demonstrate, as has been done in this video, that the theory put forth in the 1905 paper is flowed to demand its removal from science altogether. Amazingly, it takes only one crucial argument to defeat the entire theory and whatever parts one might think it can be divided into. As an aside, it should be noted that not only has the mass energy relation E equals mc squared been known well prior to Einstein's mention of it. But Einstein's so-called theory of relativity cannot even derive it. Science in its natural course of development is seeing incorrect theories being overthrown all the time. However, probably in its entire history there has never been such a persistent travesty of science as the one represented by Einstein's so-called theory of relativity. Therefore, Einstein's so-called theory of relativity must be removed from science without a trace. This is original criticism, not present in earlier publications of any of those claiming to be critics of Einstein's candidate theory. The criticism herewith is conclusive and final and needs no further discussion. From now on, it is not expected that Einstein's so-called theory of relativity will ever be considered in any scientific context. There is no excuse that criticisms have so far been raised but have not been taken seriously. Neither can an argument be accepted, based on the mere place the criticism is published, purportedly prestigious or not. It is the truth that matters, not the place where it is published. The critique herewith must be taken seriously by anybody who calls himself or herself a scientist and has at least a trace of decency or even minimal integrity. Anyone who for any reason happens to be exposed to Einstein's so-called theory of relativity must, from now on, recognize it as nothing else but travesty of science and promptly dismiss it. Anyone who would from now on engage in any publicly funded activity, having anything to do with the said Einstein's theory of relativity, stands to be legitimately accused of deliberate misdeeds, ranging from pure dishonesty to criminal misappropriation of public funds, by underhanded chasing obviously barren ideas. This is a call for fundamental reform in contemporary physics.